Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is my love for the composition of book. <laughs> this is something that I've been using literally, well, since high school. Um, but I've really, really have grown to love the composition of book as an adult. And so here I just want to share how I've used the composition notebooks come, you know, from the mini, I call these the minis, um, the standard, which I've cut down to, you know, the regular size notebooks. So hoping to give you some ideas, you guys probably already use the composition notebook, but at least I wanted to share how I use it. Um, so let's start with the minis. Now, um, what I'm about to share, um, these are just ways that I've used them personally, and I'm sure there's many, many more ways and ideas to use them. Um, but I just thought, you know what? I have a collection. Why don't I just share it here on YouTube? I've never shared, I, I don't think I've ever shared all my composition notebooks, and I probably have more around the house um, in boxes because I've homeschooled for so many years. And so um, this is what I can find on hand. So this first one here, I, I they call it a mind sweep, but this is my <laughs> my bullet journal dailies from November of 2017 through December 30th of 2017. And um, this is just, I don't know, I just always loved uh, using the composition notebook. If you watched any of my videos, you can kind of tell this is like the first, um, I don't want to say the first try of doing dailies. Um, this is my index and these are what my dailies look like in a mini composition notebook. And I even try to do the weeks like this. And yeah, I love going back and reading a lot of this, what I was doing and seeing how my style was starting to come together. Um, so when you um, start putting notebooks together, you're gonna to see your planning system evolve as the years go by. So it's a, a color coding, I've always done that. So yeah, so this was just my little bullet journal. Um, I've even considered going back into like a little mini notebook just for fun uh, for a month, but that's something I can do, but that is my uh, little mini bullet journal. This next one here, you've seen this recently. This is my journal and it's 50 pages. I'm about, hold on here. <laughs> this is my, here, I'll cover it up a little bit. I have about these many pages left. And this journal, because it's so petite and very light, I can actually put this anywhere. I can, um, I mean, many guys use this and put this in their um, pocket. I put this in my pocket rings. I put this in my uh, passport TN, or I can just use it like this. And uh, I don't like using it, you know, just like this because it is private and I don't like for the pages like to pop open. So I would, I always kind of have this in a cover. Plus I like to protect the outside of it. Um, but this is like more personal journal, journaling, like if I'm struggling with something or something's on my heart that I want to just get it out during the day, this is where I do it. This next one here, um, this one was decorated. I decorated several of them. Um, I'm trying to think where my other one that I decorated. If I find it, I will share it. Um, there was another one that it's, and so this is just when I was trying to get crafty. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me see, what, what year was this? Um, and that's another thing that I don't always, yeah. 2016 so it's been a while and a lot of these notebooks are not filled and that's okay because I can still go back and use them uh, this is the healing journey it's um, a book that I've been reading trying to read I've been trying to finish and I have yet to finish um, but these I just took book notes so and if I had it needed more then I would tip paper in but yeah this is just um, pen to paper, just book notes and hoping to finish that one day. Um, and so the adventure begins. I just thought that was appropriate. 
this little notebook here um i'm gonna kind of go quickly because i have so many notebooks i don't want to you know take too long on this video um this little notebook is just uh something <laughs> that i use at church I'm in charge of the music kind of to run the computer. Um, and so when there are songs that, um, you know, uh, my daughter does the worship. So a lot of times she'll say, mom, these are the songs. And instead of me forgetting and asking her over and over again, so I just write them down and I keep it, you know, at my booth. And so that is how I use this. Um, in the beginning, I have, um, let me see here <laughs> i just have when i print brochures i know what all this means um I'll, in order for the brochures to print correctly this these are my little codes <laughs> and then the very back um we have like a um i forget what you call that but it has all the knobs and the to balance the music my husband generally fixes that i just know what to push and um the settings are in the back of this little notebook so that is uh something that we use at my uh at the sound booth at church this little uh guy here i loved when they had these uh, little polka dot notebooks at the uh, walmart and they had like a pack let me see i think it was pink purple and orange i'm not sure if i have any more but this is one that I used as a journal and kind of like a mix of things. Sometimes I just have like having something. Um, I wrote prayers in here. Um, my granddaughter was born. I was in Chicago. And so when I would visit, I had this little composition notebook. And sometimes I just poured my heart on here. I wish that I would have written more. I, I think I did maybe in my planner. I don't know. Um, but it was a very emotional time. And so this little notebook is special. And again, it's a lot of blank pages. I just wish I would have written more um, in regards to that season of my life because she's five years old now. She was born a micro preemie. She was born in 24 and a half weeks. And so, yeah, so it was, she's my miracle, my miracle baby, uh, my granddaughter. And um, anyway, that is what I use that for. And it's whatever I, you know, I don't want to say a commonplace book because a commonplace book is, you know, where you take quotes and um, notes about stuff. But this is more like a, you know, like a reference book, if you want to call it that. So these are um, memory composition notebooks. I've tried to decorate it a little bit with stickers and I may go back because these are polka dots. I just thought I'm just gonna cover maybe this a little bit and work on the cover. This um, is for my grandson, so it's blue and I just thought it was appropriate. But see, I just used washi. I bought some washi specific to a little baby boy. And let me see if I can try to show you. So I just decorated a little bit like that. I won't show you the writing. And whenever there's an update, and I've, you know what, I switched to my planner. It's easy for me when I have my planner. If my daughter says something about my grandson, I just write it in my planner. And kind of that's where it stayed. So I really... Uh, this is almost like a project. I need to go through all my planners and transfer the information in here. But the information is there. See, so cute, little elephant. Um, and I and I only did a little bit just because um, I think I try to work on all of these one night. That is for my one of my granddaughters. Let me see, I don't think I filled anything out, no. See, just little, try to decorate it just a little bit. And this one is for my other granddaughter. See, sweet baby girl. This has, oh, sticker came off there. But these have just stickers. And so I'm ready to, um, you know, to write. And it's a lot pen to paper. I really want to get some, like, pictures in here also. And I really need to work on this because I haven't spent a lot of time in these. And I want these to be, like, little treasures. And so... That's something that, um, and my son has another um, little girl and um, my daughter is now pregnant. So I have a couple more to add in here. This little guy here, it's back in the day when these were popular, but it's either the um, micro T 
TNs. I think they were called back in, was it 2017? I don't know, but these are notebooks. These are not really composition notebooks, um, but I cut them down, but this is a composition notebook. And it's just like the one that I showed you in blue, but this is something that I used to have carry with me and like list. And one, you know, these other notebooks were like shopping list. And if I went to church, one for church and faith. Um, but these were just, let me see, any, any list in here? Um, oh, this was a wardrobe. Oh, see here it has the micro size, which is four by 2.75. And uh, so yeah, here's my wish list. My daughter's, my, my youngest daughter's um, wardrobe and my uh, family information, challenges and uh, affirmations. <laughs> I never finished that, but yeah, just ideas you can always cut down the book even smaller to fit a little micro if um you know if you're interested in that this is a passport and i know i showed this before on my channel but this is like my favorite little i love this little passport it's a kodiak leather from speckled fawn but these this is where i keep a lot of my um faith little composition notebook i have one two three four, five, six, six little mini composition notebooks. And these are just prayer cards. Um, this is, yeah, I will go to Pinterest if there's anything. I decorated these and I won't go too much detail because I have a flip through of that. This is back then when I used to, you know, decorate all the pages and just write like quotes and things that really minister to my heart. Uh, these, this was, what is this? Um, who I am in Christ. This is the prayer. I, I'm sure that's a prayer um, with people, you know, uh, not family, my media family, like friends and uh, social media friends. This is where I would put it. My daughter made me this little, I have never used it, um, this little composition notebook and she covered it with her favorite candy at that time was Mamba. <laughs> <laughs> so she put wrappers over it. Oh, this is the other notebook that I decorated and they kind of let a mash there, but you are capable of becoming more than you realize. And then it just says believe. And I just put some happy planner stickers. This is uh, like um, paper, scrapbook paper. And I put it back. See, it looks like it's paper, but these are like happy planner stickers. And this is some more paper that I put in another one. This is a journal. I always have a journal everywhere because I need a place sometimes to write and I don't want to write in my faith journals. Um, oh, this is uh, scripture writing. So, and the scripture writing plans are in the back. So controlling our emotions and developing godly character. And I still have room for one more or probably more. So I love, love, love bringing this out and just, I can go anywhere and just you know work in this because i have a journal i have my faith i have a blank um, notebook if i want to keep any any other notes or i can switch them out and you know if i know i'm going to be needing maybe some of this i can i can make a planner and put it in there and i have a whole system so i do want to mention in the mini composition notebooks because um they start they started selling this type let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at the very edge there, that's glued. And I mean, it can work, but see how the pages start coming apart without me even doing anything? That is glued. So if it doesn't say sewn, even though this set here from Walmart that I just got, because I collect, whenever I see them, I pick them up. <laughs> but you can kind of tell if you know, like I can tell that this is sewn. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This is just straight and you can tell it goes around. I don't know if you could tell from the spine. You see, that's just straight because it did not say sewn, but I know these are sewn just because I've used them in the past. See, and that is the best little composition book um, I recommend getting. These are a three set from Walmart, and I think they're under $2. And you get a lot of writing in there, 80 sheets each, and they're pretty colors. 
They also have the primary colors, which is that dark blue, like my grandson that I used, and the red and the black. That's a set of three. I like that these because these are pastels. So I want to, you know, um, I do have a box that I just keep stuff in. But this is great. So if you're out and about and keep something in your purse and you just need to, you know, like a grocery list and you can just peel this out or write notes and give it to someone, that is great for that. But if you're going to journal and keep it like, I don't know, um, for scripture writing, something that's more of a keepsake, I highly recommend getting the sewn. Okay. I had to start the long, you know, the bigger notebooks. I had to start with my morning pages because if anybody's been following me for a while, you know that I love, love, love my composition notebook for my morning pages. This is something that I've been doing since two, th October of 2000. Yes, 2016. And I have many, many collections. This is the first time that I have cut down a, or not cut down a standard into a standard, but this is the first time that I've used a standard composition notebook as a morning pages notebook. That's better said. <laughs> I think that made sense. Um, so this is something that I just covered with um, decorative vinyl. And I have, a, I think I have a video on this. Now I know, now I can't remember. Um, and I just put some vinyl stickers and inside, I can't show my writing, but it's just pen to paper. And some, see how that doesn't lay flat sometimes. What I like to use, where's my clip? Oh, I have it in my other one. I use this clip here and you can use anything. See how that holds it down? And I just write. And I don't allow, you know, I don't let this red line to bother me. It used to. Now I just write over it. And because I see all my writing, I really don't notice it. See in the back is kind of faint anyway. So I'm really enjoying that. I have that in a Traveler's Company cover. And because I've been wanting to use TNs more, I found a reason to, you know, use a composition notebook in this size. This is my um, original uh, morning pages that I started off earlier this year and I've continued in here and so inside this notebook I made a note of that I moved into this standard and then in the inside cover I will write down the date like at the beginning date and when I ended using the notebook. If you're interested in seeing more about that I have a video that talks about the morning pages. So any any videos that I have on in regards to anything that I share, you know, like notebooks, because I'm not doing any flip throughs, I will link below just, just as a FYI. I don't think I mentioned that earlier in my video. This is another one that I just cut down. And again, I will link the video below, but I cut this into a standard and I was actually gonna use this for faith. And I really don't know. I just put notes there. And this was already decorated like this. This is not something that I decorated. And this is one of the reasons that I, I liked this. I bought this around the school time, you know, back to school times. So I don't, I went back and they didn't have any more. So, and I cut down 7, 14, 23. I like writing dates down because as I'm sharing notebooks with you, I um, earlier went through them and some of the, I didn't write dates with them. I'm like, oh, well, when did I start this notebook? Cause I know this notebook is pretty old. Not this one, but another one that I was looking at. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for. I am thinking, and I always put post-its in the back in case I need, you know, for notes. I am thinking that I may, um, I don't know. I may, I've been wanting to put like my system in a plain notebook and I'm thinking I may do it in this. I might. This is just, just ideas that come in my head, but they don't come into fruition because I'm working in my current planners. And, uh, but that's something, um, I have like a little project list that I need to make in my notebook, in my little spiral here, because these are all my notes from the, um, the reasons I, you know, the ways I've used the composition notebooks, because sometimes I just sit in my car or if I'm driving somewhere and something pops in my head, I open up my notes in my phone and I just start, you know, um, typing away of ideas. So I'm not sure again, what I'm going to be using. I'm thinking it's going to be for a planner of my system in a composition notebook, just because this is a very inexpensive way to use the notebook for anything. You can use it for journaling. You can use it for creative writing. You can use it just for notes. You can use it for a course, class notes, faith, um, 
I mean, morning pages, anything. And, and I really love it because it is really inexpensive and they last. If they're sewn, they last. I mean, many of these I've had since, one of them I think I've had since 2009 and it's still in great condition. So that is that. My next one here, I love this one. I love the color. A lot of these I've gotten from uh, Walmart. And see, I love the like the rose gold. Now, this is I use as a journal, and I still have many, many pages that I did. Oopsie. And I still have many pages that I have not used. And um, I can still go back and use this. I wish I would have, as I'm going through here earlier, I wish I would have spent time and um, I have a habit of starting something and then it's like, oh, I want to do something else. And then I jump, I jump around. In my journaling, I jump around a lot. Now in my planning, I don't really, I have, you know, I stay in my books or um, I finish, it, but it doesn't really matter because everything's, you know, can runs consecutive. But for my journaling, Anyone who's been following me for a while knows that I love jumping around because I like using different sizes. I like using different types of paper. I like just the variety of, because I get bored. That's, <laughs> that's a bad thing about, I get bored with notebooks. So the good thing about this, this is an inexpensive hobby to use and start with composition notebooks instead of buying Stalogies and Moleskines. And I have those notebooks, you know, uh, Traveler's Company, um, passport size, you can use a little mini. Um, and that's what I use in a lot of my passport is my composition notebooks. And I need to really reassess my spending a little bit because um, I've just been doing a lot of or too much of the retail therapy, even though it's fun. <laughs> Once I start to tallying like how much money I've spent, it's like, whoa, I need to slow down. So because this is a journal and this is very private, I can only share and I I read I read my what I was I'm about to share because this is very personal and private. And so a lot of times I have um, not only emotion and feelings behind it, but there's, you know, I talk about and this is a memory keeping. This is not like uh, deep journaling, like in my little mini uh, composition notebook that I sh you know, showed earlier. This is more memory keeping and I have, um, well, let me open it. So this is some memory keeping uh, back in 2017. So, um, so one of the girls that I was coaching, I coach volleyball and she gave this to me. And so I, you know what? I have forgotten about that until I opened this up. Look how creative I was. <laughs> Check that out. I even shocked myself. I'm like, how did I do this? Look, it's a pocket. And so I wanted to keep some volleyball stuff. And so I made a pocket and look, washi. Wow, it's and see I, the, how fun that is, and um, yeah, so I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> if you knew how hard it is for me to create things, and then sometimes I look back and it's like, wow, I created that. Um, and here is just I was I think I was trying to hand letter and but that's okay because it says do something today that your future self will thank you for. And that is so true. Sometimes when I see quotes, I just write them out like that. And um, I think my hand lettering is a little better, maybe a little better. And this is 2017. And so, yeah, I just, you know, I just wrote about um, volleyball and the girls and the games and family. And I just really enjoy this notebook here. I had some initials for what this, what can, what was kept, you know, um, in here. And so, yeah, that is beautiful memories, beautiful memories. And I highly encourage to start a journal in a composition notebook. This next one, this one's shiny. Isn't that beautiful? I saw this, again, I bought this at, um, it's from Studio C on a Walmart years ago and what i did and sometimes <laughs> I, you probably remember seeing this let me bring you out just a little bit you probably remember seeing this years ago where people would you know just washy i think i have yeah 
put two pages together and then washi the edges. And that's what I did. And I wish I didn't do that because I wanted this to be like a place where I can write with use like more wet markers and then, um, you know, kind of like an art journal. And so it wouldn't bleed through. So I don't know. I just felt like <laughs> I just felt like doing it. And so if you can see, I really didn't use it all that much. This is back in 2016 and I did soap studies in here. Oh, look at this. Punctuation, parts, parts of speech, figures of speech. Oh, I like that. I like that. So anyway, so this, yeah, August 21. Oh, wow. What's today's date? Today, wow, look at this. August 21 and today's August 21. Oh, I love how God works. 2016. So that's seven years ago. Wow. 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 Okay. So this I used for, what did I say for? Yeah. Soap studies and verse mapping. So, um, yeah, that's just my version of soap study and verse mapping. So I would do the soap study and then verse map the scripture. Apparently I was using the Jesus calling devotion and then I like using different colors and yeah. So I, I can, I can continue using this. This is a beautiful, beautiful notebook. This is another faith that I didn't use all that much. The good thing about these is I can always come back and continue using these notebooks. Here, this is a very special notebook to me because I wrote down here, I purchased this notebook while visiting Chicago. My granddaughter was in the hospital in 2018. I wanted to use it specifically for healing studies bought at Walmart in Chicago. So because I, my faith was so strong for that baby to be healed and made whole in Jesus name. And so I bought this and I saw that and because of all the hearts and yeah, I'm going to start crying if um, keep on talking about that. So we'll just leave that. This is my oldest composition notebook that I have, that I found. I have more. <laughs> Mom's planning notebook. When I started homeschooling, and look at how, look at my writing. It was horrible. <laughs> when I take study notes, I write fast and big. And so this, I think, was speech and debate. My daughter took speech and debate. And so I would sit in the classes because I wanted to learn what she's learning. And hold on here. So, and then I had a list of to-dos. Homeschool vision was to know him, study his word, and make him known. Missions. Wow. That was in my heart even back then. And I'm done with homeschooling. I'm, you know, I look at that vision and I, hmm, makes me think about a lot of things I wish I would have done different. But, wow, this is really, and then my girls and their different, you know, subjects so, love it. This is my daughter, Drew, in the back. Or maybe it was me. <laughs> I don't know. I remember. I think it was my daughter, Hannah, yeah. So, love, love. Again, I know. I'm going to say I love, love, love because I do love all my my um, my notebooks. This I can't show or I can't share because it's one of my girl's uh, prayer letters. If you've seen any of my faith Actually, I'm trying to think. I know I mentioned it before. I have a faith set up that I have to share uh, here uh, or I want to share here on YouTube. And I I don't know. I Actually, I made my video and I deleted it and I edited it. It was like a long video. I spent a half a day on it and then I didn't like it. I, I sounded so dry. I was like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> I was like... This is my Hobonichi cousin of, I sounded, I, I, I think I sounded horrible. So I deleted it. I deleted it because I didn't want to post it because if I say, oh, if I keep it, then I'll post it. But anyway, okay. So prayer letters. In the video, I had mentioned that I use prayer letters. I still use it. This is something that was part of a curriculum that my girls had used. And this was a specific, just notebooks for them prayer in they were prayer letters they just open it up in the morning they would just write a letter to the lord whatever was on their heart normally i had them follow the acronym p r a y 
it says prayer, but S, praise. So P for praise, R for repent, A for ask, Y for yield, and S for supplication. And so it was teaching them to pray every day in a way that when they got older, that they can pray and really praise the Lord, you know, instead of going to God and saying, I need this, 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 because I'm guilty of that, um, that I need to, you know, teach them to really reverence the Lord and praise him for who he is. And then, you know, repent. Did I say repent? I think I said repent. R is for repent and pr repent of all their sins. Then they can go into asking, yield anything they have in their life and as for supplication. So it's just a great way um, and a great, great keepsake. At this, I did not grade because this is something that I felt that was personal between them and God. Plus it encouraged them to really, you know, um, feel comfortable in writing and speaking to the Lord without feeling that I was going to read their notebooks. And if I told them I was not going to read their notebook, they trusted me to know that I, you know, I respected that because I feel the same way. I have a lot of journals. I have a lot of planners. And um, even though my planners, I really don't mind if they open but my journals, I don't allow anyone to just open them up and start reading them. That is like a big no-no. Um, one day when I'm gone, they can read all my journals <laughs> because I'll be gone. And um, But anyway, okay. This is a composition, uh, my youngest homeschool bullet journal. This is May, wow, 2016. I can't believe it was that long ago. But anyway, this is uh, uh, something that I created for my youngest daughter. Now, I stopped using it because I can tell here it got wet. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you could tell from here. See that? So here is the beginning. And it said, if lost, please, you know, I had my daughter's name and my cell number. These are her classes in 2016. Oh, this brings back so many memories. I'm done with homeschooling. My young, this, this, my youngest here, she's, uh, will be, she's 19, will be 20 in February. And this is my, you know, my, my contents, my future log, May homeschool, May monthly log, books to read. And I numbered the pages back here. Uh, scriptures memorized, May homeschool tracker and helping verbs. Cause this is part of her English. And then I had a key, which, you know, this, you know, I made this too big now that I look at this. And now back in 2016, that's when I first started using the bullet journal system. I think I made... If I would have been able to know what I know now, <laughs> I would have done a little less pages. So, yeah, so I had the future log and then I had the monthly log. So, you know, uh, any activities and tasks that I needed her to do. This was the May tracker. This is from Bo Boho, Boho Berry. Remember her? This was a, something a free she had. And so what I did was I started just writing down like, because this also not only helped her, but helped me to know what she was doing. And so I would be, look at this every day and know which, when was the next writing lesson. So I knew where she was at without me even having to ask her, I would look at this and, you know, was she reading? What book does she read? So, you know, morning chores, instead of me telling her what to do all the time, I just told her, these are your chores. This is your scripture that you're going to be focusing on. Um, I put any additional notes, anything that she did, like he, here she made dinner. And so I would include that because that's homemaking, um, give her credit for school. And yeah, so I just loved here scriptures memorized. I will keep a list of that. And I just used it like a bullet journal. And oh, wow. Yeah, I love this. Made dinner again. I would always, um, so I started decorating and then I put a little note for her. Have a great a day of school. <laughs> then I, I started changing the page more. I would put, I heard my, my dog is barking. I apologize. She's upstairs. So morning pages uh, or morning chores I put on top, her daily studies, and then a note on the bottom. And I put here, great job. Keep up with your dog. And then I started decorating more. And then she looked forward to using this when it was decorated because she wanted to know how it was decorated. And I always, 
I always match the mild liners to whatever. And it was, um, yeah, this was ooh, bold. Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> and here I just put a little tip in for with God, nothing should be impossible. So little, um, yeah. Oh, she took flowers to grandma's grave and she made dinner. And so, yeah, I love all this. Here, I won't show everything. Oh, this is a tracker, school, homeschool tracker. And these are just, and I was totally bummed when this book, see, it got wet. And I'm not sure how that happened. So anyway, we stopped here. I'll just do a quick flip. And I love this. It was cute and it was a good way to know what she was doing. So for homeschooling, it's just an idea if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer if I can remember how I used it. <laughs> I will help in any way I can. Now, this is not something, if anybody knows me, that, I don't know if I can see it here, see that? It's like a junk journal. Now, I'm not a junk journaler, and I, I, but I will see this on YouTube, and I say, I can do that, I can do that. <laughs> I want to be creative. Um, and this is coming apart, so I need to re-glue, see? Oh, it's coming all apart. The glue that I used here, I don't know, it just, it wasn't good. So, I need to redo that. Okay, I can show you this. So, I covered the inside. That's still, that's still glued. Let me see if I can okay so what they did what they told me to do I can't remember who inspired me to do this this somebody did this on YouTube and so I copied and so I crinkled every page and then I watercolored the pages sometimes I used um what are these inks I, oh I still have them hold on these distress inks you know from Tim Holtz I would just kind of do that you can I don't know you can see the pages here and then I glued in to make it look vintagey <laughs> it doesn't look vintagey but I use vintage paper oh my my Zoe's at the door hold on okay I had to make sure she did not have her bone because she loves to chew on it for a while and then she goes to sleep in one of my videos um, she was chewing on the bone <laughs> I don't want her doing that again so every so often I would see glue in just scrapbook paper and I've never done this before I don't know I was just gluing whatever I wanted and so let me show you what I did so I was looking through here and this one another one thank you for coaching and my daughter um, uh, drew this <laughs> I don't know paper for me and my daughter my youngest daughter and this was to uh, 2017 so this is why I like dates because when I see things is I how old was she when she did this and it got wet but it says good morning mama I love you have a great day see you soon and I'm not I'm wondering if I went to work because I still at this time work part-time okay so this next page I so what I did was I didn't know what to put in here <laughs> I never created a junk journal before but so I started saving like everything and it's like, okay, whatever I have, instead of throwing it away, I guess that's what junk is. You put it in here. <clears throat> but some of this is not really uh, a junk journal. I mean, like junk, like uh, this is my daughter wrote that. She would always write like little Spanish phrases. So I saved, I glued it in here. It says, un momento por favor. <laughs> Sometimes she would just, uh, I don't know, maybe she was cute. Um, oh, here we went to go see The Greatest Showman. So I wanted to save the tickets. That's the year we went. To, it's the only time in my life that I went to the theater four times to see this show. It was, I don't know, we just were fascinated with it. And um, so anyway, I, okay, now here I don't remember why I drank this tea. I must have been sick because I don't like tea. So I know I must have been sick. And then this, my other Stephanie, my, my same daughter here. Hope you enjoy waking up to a clean table encounter before daddy messes them up. <laughs> this, I must have been at work and I came home. They used to leave me like little notes and somebody bought me this. I don't know if, did I write down who bought me this? Um, somebody bought me truffles. Oh, it must have been to, to mom from your Stefana. She bought me IHOP uh, gift card. So things like that, I kept, I this I wish I would have written like, where, were that, where was that from? I, I know it was a gift, but I don't know who gave it to me. So, um, so anyway, 
I have stuff like that. Okay, here. <clears throat> I can't show you everything because many of that is private and I can't cover everything. But this is the 2017 Solar Eclipse. And these were the glasses that we used. I put a little, what do you call these pockets? Um, but it got like discolored. Um, this is a gift certificate that someone gave me. Did I write down? Oh, I didn't write down. But I just kept stuff. Oh, this. What did I buy this from? Um, paper... Paper Penguin Co. Oh, I think I bought some, like some, an insert. So I kept that there. Every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. So anyway, I can't show the rest because there's a lot of private things. But this, this was, isn't this cute? I mean, back then, um, I, I gotta glue that back together. But there's some things in here that I wish I would have kept on. And I can continue. I think I have boxes of just stuff that I threw in. But now I look back, it's like, what is this for? I don't even know why I kept this. <laughs> so I want to be better at collecting things. And now that my girls are all older, I wish I would have kept this up. And yeah, so my youngest is 19. So my other girls are, um, you know, in their, in their 20s. My oldest is in her 30s. So yeah, these were wonderful memories. But anyway, so that is that. So these are ways that I have used the composition notebook. I am trying to go on my list and see if I forgot anything. Nope, I checked everything on my on my list. Um, again, you can use a composition notebook for, for a lot of things. You can also take it to church and take church notes. You can, you know, start a um, hobby, like a hobby book, and keep documenting. Like if you're knitting or crocheting um, and you want to keep patterns, if you want to keep a, a recipe book, there are so many things that you can use a composition notebook and it's so inexpensive and again it keeps these these notebooks have you know are fairly uh old and used but well loved thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about anything that i showed please let me know below i'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have but other than that thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos thanks again and until next time